<clears throat> All right. Yeah, I'm basically just about to get ready for my, um, just about to go down for my first sleep. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I was just actually staring at the strategic map over there. So I was like, you know what, maybe I'll um, show you what I was staring at. Um, you know what, I don't know what you guys think, but I'm just absolutely astounded that and let's be honest, it's weird to start thinking this way. I'm sorry, you're, you, you, you're going to see what I see kind of thing. I'm not um, going to like um, like blow it up or anything. As far as I know, you're seeing... Yeah, I think so. If it's at one, you know, normal whatevers. Um, I will say this, if you can see it, I see it, and it just freaks me out, is the uh, the Mediterranean. Does it, does it not look like some kind of like, um, I don't know, like a sly fox or a little weasel? With like its long, you know, snooty nose going towards Gibraltar. I don't know, just like, and I'll be honest with you, I just find the Suez Canal there connected to the, I guess the Red Sea, um, just almost looks like an aberration. Like, I don't know, just like, like exhaust from a jet ski or, or that, those jet things or whatever the hell they are, those jet boats or I don't know what the hell they are. Um, yeah, I just look at, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just like, I guess, yeah, okay. They relied on, you know, the Ottomans and the um, the Austro-Hungarians to take, you know, some of the stuff and Bulgarians and whatnot. But, um, and it also, I just find it weird that, um, think about this, man. Like, oh, man, the war started, you know, with the Austro-Hungarians, but it almost seems like from almost... At least I am maybe my mind may obviously from other people that were like impacted in different ways, but almost from the get go, it's like the Germans versus the, you know what I mean? The Germans are running the, like it's the, it, always about like if all, only the Germans could last a bit longer or the German offensive or that, you know, oh my God, I do find this ironic. I'm not sure because I don't know too much about the Hindenburg line. But I was watching or listening to a lecture last night about um, the um, German offensives that were planned in 1915, but um, didn't happen. And Falkenhayn back then was like a massive pro proponent of um, like a secondary line of defense and so on and so forth. But real, anyways, I, I'm not going to get into it now. But um, I just was, as it, I was listening to the the lecture, I was like holy shit, this kind of sounds like the Hindenburg line from what I know. Like I said, I don't know too much. Um, and I was like, oh my God, in real life, supposedly those those two hated each other's guts. And I was like, it's just so weird that it ended up becoming, you know, something that maybe, maybe Falkenhayn uh, uh, was thinking about and um, ends up becoming, you know, the name of somebody else. Which, uh, yeah, I just want, or like somebody he hated. But... <clears throat> I don't know. Like, take a look at the map, man. I just, I understand. Yeah, everybody comes in piecewise. Yeah, of course, and then the Americans show up and it's like, <laughs> you want to talk about overkill game over. Holy Jesus. Okay. Look at Germany, man. I just don't understand how in the world they lasted. F I, like I said, I don't know the intricacies, but still, I just do not understand how. Like, look at it from the Entente's point of view. <clears throat> Excuse me. For, I should drink some water. Oh, well. Um. You've got the best navy in the world. Um, you've got a country that's been invaded and has a grudge against the invaders, France. They've also invaded Belgium. Both those sides have got a, I've got a, you know what I mean. They've got some motivation. You then have Italy that will eventually join your side. And you've got almost like in a weirdo way, it, uh, like, okay, like I said, I, you, I'm not talking about what happens with Russia, you know, like collapse wise or whatever, but in a weird way, like at the beginning, you've got like this endless supply of troops on, on one flank. You're surrounding them for Christ's sakes. Um, I just, I'm just astounded, absolutely flipping astounded that, um, Germany, I'm sorry, I, I know I should be including them, but I'm not really because I just, uh, from what I know, it's like, the, it seems like, you know, Germany, even in the narrative from what I've been, you know, reading in books and so on and so forth, it's like from the get go, um, you know, once it like things really start going, it's Germany, it's basically, um, you know, whatever, but it's just, yeah, you know, it's just amazing. like, how the hell did, <laughs> well, I know because they were connected with, uh, with treaties and whatnot, but it's just like, holy 
Eesh. Um, yeah, just blows me away. Just, um, just thinking about all this stuff and yeah, that's really it. Really. Um, yeah, I can go on to, well, I will hold on. Alrighty. Yeah. I'm not going to turn on the light, but whatever. Anyways, this is probably an angle. Like I actually don't see very often and you don't, you guys don't see very often. So what I've decided to do with the Germans, haven't done it yet is I'm going to hold on and switch. Oh no, I'll keep it on there. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to role play the, the Germans a bit more. And for what, from what I've been reading, wanting what I've been listening to, uh, I'm not sure about Hindenburg, but Ludendorff certainly was a bit um, offensive, happy, and had some issues with the Gorlitz uh, Tarnoff uh, breakthrough. He was asking Falcon High, please, please, please uh, give me some more troops up, up north here so I can go towards and do his thing because I think he was in control of this bit. Um, so with that in mind and the way it's been working, I've been looking at this. I'll, I've got actually another map. Uh, I'll do it later. I've got a... Uh, I did a map with all these like little fronts and so on and so forth. I can show you which were whatever's, but the eighth army over here, um, is really stretched massively. It's ridiculous. I'll show it to you later. Like I said, in the, in the secondary thing, um, no, I have to go through stream air to do it properly or whatever. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to move the eighth army HQ over here. It's going to, they're not going to be able to be effective until Oh five November. But I'm going to rail them way the hell over here. And what I'm going to basically do is have two army HQs supplying the November massive attack to flush out the Russians um, like there's no flip in tomorrow. Uh, the basic thing to do anyways with the Warsaw Front all the time is just stay put. Don't let the Russians go forward. And that's about it. I've never tried anything like this in other, well, I've tried limitedly, but not such a wide uh, amount of space. And what I'm going to do is, obviously, I don't have the infrastructure, like, I don't have an actual core, uh, an army HQ to direct uh, traffic here. So that's going to be interesting. Um, but it's just going to be core HQs for a huge front here. I don't even know what to call them yet, and so on and so forth. Um but uh, that's what's going to be directing the Warsaw Front. I'm going to move, like I said, I'm going to move over. Um, I have to look up his name still. Um, uh, get it into my head. Uh, the new guy, like I said, the guy with the, uh, the amazing hat. Uh, and he's going, um, going to go over here and hang out with uh, Robert Schubert. And um, yeah, com hopefully complete the uh, November massive attack. That's it. I think I could probably, uh, that's one thing I can tell you about this. If anybody uh and a few people unfortunately have they've never done it the, like the master thing is say okay really really you can you can just talk talk I'm like no no you really don't want to do that but i've had people you know come in into the house and say oh uh, can you tell me what's going on or whatever and i'm like you sure you really want to know? like i'll i'll give you some bits but i can't give you a, how the hell am i expo exp I don't know, like intense i can't man so I just go, um, I usually say things like the Russians are in a lot of trouble. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I, like, I'm like, don't do this to me, man. You're, you're basically asking me to just, um, you know, so how, how's it going with your, uh, the most, you know, amazing choose your own adventure you've ever experienced. And it's like, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, where do you begin, man? All right. Hope you're having a great time. See ya.